Item number, SCP-392, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. All living SCP-392 instances are to be held in a standard greenhouse sector at Biological Research Site 103. Population of SCP-392 instances is to be kept maintained at an upper limit of 10. Selected SCP-392 seeds are to be extracted and kept in cryonic storage at Biosite 103. Description SCP-392 is an artificial plant species created via Davite Thaumaturgy, resembling the species Prunus persica, peach. According to A Chronicle of the Divas, creation of SCP-392 was attributed to Divite Matriarch Wok of the Wok Clan, circa 800 BCE. While originally perceived as an act of social deviance in Divite society, cultivation was tolerated and adopted by matrilineal descendants of the Wok clan, located in contemporary Central Asia and Xinjiang, China. While SCP-392 is physiologically similar to that of P. persica, one significant difference is that SCP-392 does not produce fruits from the ovary upon flowering. Instead, it produces a series of physically identical male human heads. DNA analysis indicates that they are of the same individual. As the tattoos found on the heads are indicative of human concubinus belonging to Divite matriarchs, it is postulated that the heads grown from SCP-392 represent a human concubinus of the matriarch Wakwak. The physiology of heads grown from SCP-392 is mostly identical to that of a human although the heads lack eyelids, and the seed for SCP-392 is located at the prefrontal cortex. In addition, the heads are capable of responding to external stimuli, as indicated by various reflex actions. PET scans of attached heads have identified neural activity in the brain. Notably, rate of eye movement and neural activity are consistently higher when female humanoid figures are within the head's visual axis as compared to other types of objects. Below is an abridged list of reflex actions and responses obtained from heads grown from SCP-392. Experiment Log 3921 Test 392-01 Subject D-690 Protocol D-690 is instructed to wave her hand in front of a head attached to SCP-392. Results Irises of the head move according to the movement of D-690's hand. Test 392-2 Subject D-690 Protocol D-690 is instructed to caress a head attached to SCP-392. Results Irises of the head move toward the region where it is touched. Jaws of the head open at approximately 5 degrees. No vocalization produced. Test 392-3 Subject D-690 Protocol D-690 is instructed to place her lips over the lips of a head attached to SCP-392. Results Mouth of the head opened and tongue extended in an attempt to touch D-690's lips and tongue. When detached from SCP-392, neural activity and reflex actions from the heads will cease. The heads can be plucked, or will fall from the plant naturally via barakery. When detached from SCP-392, the head will gradually undergo decomposition, allowing the seed to be exposed to water and oxygen. Decomposed matter from the head will then serve as an organic fertilizer for germination. SCP-392 was discovered in the Katsura Imperial Villa at Kyoto, Japan, on Expunged, 1945. Ties to Divite culture are later identified via cross-reference of tattoos found on the heads, and this document is subsequently updated with relevant findings from Divite sources known to the Foundation. Addendum 3921 SCP-392 instances planted at Kyoto was conducted during the Pacific War as part of a ritual to pray for national prosperity. 
Those specimens originated from a single SCP-392 seed, which was among the gifts from Emperor Yang of the Sui Dynasty in response to tribute sent by Japanese envoys. This practice originated from a description of SCP-392 by the envoy Ono no Imoko, alleging it to be a symbol of prosperity only found in the households of nobility. Addendum 3922. Due to the mention of the Sui Dynasty and confirmation of Divide involvement, a copy of A History of China, altered by SCP-140 to include Divide Chinese interactions, was consulted for additional information. The book mentioned SCP-392 as one of the items looted from captured Divite cities by Chinese soldiers as early as the Warring States period, circa 475 BCE to 221 BCE. SCP-392 would be cultivated by these soldiers, who harvested and skinned the heads. The skulls would then be passed off as executed enemy combatants and presented to officials in exchange for promotion and other rewards e.g. peerage titles, lands, and slaves. The descendants of many clans involved in SCP-392 cultivation gained prominent positions in various Chinese dynasties, up to the imperial families of various dynasties. Addendum 392371 Specialized Containment Proposal Project Yin Yang Subcategory Argus 100. The following proposal consists of a cross-test between SCP-392 and SCP-2733. Usage of SCP-392 and SCP-2733 circumnavigate ethical issues regarding the use of a live human and long-term maintenance of a live observer. Said cross-test consists of the following phases. 1. 1D class personnel will be involved in the tending of SCP-392 for a period of one month and will not be involved in other SCP projects. This is to facilitate priming. 2. Said personnel will then be instructed to open SCP-2733 while thinking of SCP-392. Due to SCP-2733's anomalous effects, it is hypothesized that a head will manifest. 3. SCP-2733 will be kept open for a test period of one year to examine long-term survival of the head. If long-term survival of the head is possible, further application under Project Yin Yang, subcategory Argus 100, will be considered. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-391, The Midas Owl right now, or for the complete course, watch this playlist.